Hi, my name is Kai Won. I'm an Aptrue 1200D user for over two years, and today, finally, 1200X arrived. So we're going to do an unboxing and share with you guys my thoughts. This is not a, a sponsored video. Bought these lights with my own money, so just share with you guys what I found and is it worth the price? Outer box dimension, it's pretty much the same. 43, 42, 61, 45, 42, and 68. So the box dimension is thicker and taller. Handle part is pretty much the same. So we have a thicker layer over here on the 1200X. Okay, so the 1200X, the wheel just totally redesigned the entire structure looks a little bit buffier and the wheel we have texture on it okay interesting so the wheels on the 1200x is totally plastic it's not like rubber or anti-slip uh, material it's just totally plastic on the 1200d we have some kind of roller blades like rubbery wheels so it will wear in this I have no idea. Yeah, times will tell. So at the bottom, handle looks the same and we have two additional support on the bottom. Okay, pretty much it. Let's do a quick unbox. Okay, so the lid is different. We can place some cables on top of the 1200D. Like this, we can put some cables inside the 1200D lid and the new 1200X, nothing on the top. We just have a, like a thick, Foam. We also don't have this little strip to hold the lid. It would just like So first we have a brand new head cable from the controller to the lamp head It's more flexible than the 1200d. The 1200d head cable is like trash 1200d head cable is not flexible enough. So it's hard to roll it off It's still so messy because it's not flexible It's so hard and it's hard to fit this messy cable into the case. So this is Definitely an improvement. Okay, the controller box clamp looks pretty much the same. Okay, so the Nutrix cable looks pretty much the same. Get some Aptra stickers. Okay, the control box, 6,058, 5,971. The design pretty much the same. We don't have the USB port over here on the new 1200X. And the DC in, they just take it out on the 1200X. They change it into the internet port. Okay, so the USB type A is over here here so you can still do the firmware update with USB they just move it over here okay so we just sacrifice the DC battery powered options on the 1200x so only difference is the effect button and it just changed into the preset button so I think preset button is more useful okay so the button press on the 1200d is a little bit mushy a little bit like unclear is it click or not and on the 1200x they just improve it to some more tactile more clicky buttons I like it at the bottom the feet is a little bit different this is like stick out so it's harder to put it back into the case so now it's like flush to the entire design so it's looks better and it fits into the case more easily okay here comes the main light the Aptra 1200X so the 1200X is slightly taller, like four centimeters taller than the 1200D. Length and width is like pretty much the same. No any big difference over here. Locking mechanism is slightly different on the 1200X. It's beefier, it's thicker and wider and bigger on the 1200X. So the braking system is pretty smooth and it will feel like some kind of drag because if you let go, it will not just fall down by itself. So on the 1200D, <laughs> It just makes so much noise and no any like drag. So if you let go, it would just fall down by itself. So definitely a plus on the 1200X. Oh, wait a minute, because 1200X, we have four feet on the bottom of the light. So add a little bit additional height. Ah, too bad because these four feet are not removable. Like these two in the front is like connect to the entire front plate. So you cannot just detach these feet if you are not going to use it. Okay, so the fan placement is slightly different. We both have huge fan on the top, but the smaller fan, we have two smaller fan to cool down the electronic component. And on the old 1200D, the fan is at the back, but it's like a huger, larger fan at the back to cool the 
like electronic component. So it's time to try this pro lock for the first time. Let's just put some dishes onto the old one first. <laughs> Everything will shake, so like bigger modifier, some wind and will like shake like crazy. And the lock on the top is like pretty bad, it's like plasticky, shaky and like low quality design. So let's try to put the same reflector onto the 1200X Pro Lock. Holy smoke! Holy smoke, it's super sturdy! I kind of like this. Okay, so if you lock your modifier in place like a little bit too tight, it's harder to like pull it back. It just like super firmly attached. No big deal, at least your modifier will not just fall down or like make lots of noise. So on the latch, we have some rubbery material to prevent some like crazy heat to like transfer onto your fingers. So we have one 3 8 screw on each side of the 1200X. We don't have any rigging point like 3 8 screws on the 1200D. So we have some carbon fiber texture over here on the 1200X. I don't know, is it real carbon fiber or not? It just looks pretty cool. Another improvement, the rubber handle is like firmly attached. No any like breaking point. On the 1200D, it's like super bad. It's hard to show you guys, but it's just like falling apart underneath. <laughs> Overload, what? 8.8 kg, 9.5 kg. Oh, wait a minute. The bottom part is slightly different too. Additional height over here, it's not on the 1200D. So the additional height is for the light stand. So some knobs on the light stand, it will just knock and just stuck on the 1200D. So the additional height will definitely help. Almost forgot we still have a little dish and this dish is so freaking heavy. This is like 45 degrees beam angle dish. Holy smoke, my ass. So the retail price is slightly lower on the 1200X. It's because we don't have the medium any longer dish on the 1200D. So the 1200D, if you buy it, it will include three different reflectors. So on the 1200X, just only 145. Okay, that's it. It's everything in the box. Another little detail, listen. This is a 1200D, just directly smash your light on the floor. This is 1200X, we have rubber feet on the bottom. So these four feet have like rubber pads on the bottom. So if you place the light down, so good. So the first big improvement is the fan speed control on the 1200X is so much better. It's so much smarter. Yeah, I did turn on the light. so. On the 1200X, the fan will not just kick in when the light is still at low temperature. So if you are going to use this light in the snow, it will not crank up the fan until it needs it. So right now it's in smart fan mode and light is on. The fan is not moving at all. The control box is moving. The fan on the control box is moving, but the fan on the lamp head, the most noisiest part is not moving at all. So this is 1200D, the fan, in smart fan mode will kick in right after you push the power button. And the fan noise is pretty loud. And this is at like 0.01% brightness. Definitely a big thumbs up on the 1200X smart fan mode. Next awesome part, the connector. So on the newer version, it's so much easier to plug and unplug the connector. So on the older version, the 1200D. <laughs> you need to use some crazy force and to like, yeah, get out. It's the same over here. We just a little twist and the cable was out. And a little twist, little twist, the cable was in. And on the older version, holy smoke, what the heck is this? Oops. And push it in. Yeah, and that's in <laughs> like day and night difference. Next, the lowest brightness is insane on the 1200X. Check this out. This is like 0.1% 0 0 .0 and it's like barely on. I would definitely make a full review in the future. So make sure you subscribe to check out the 
comparison video in the future with my Seaconic C800 spectrometer. So right now with my eyes, this looks fantastic. I think I can like, holy smoke, I can look straight into this 1200 watt light. This is insanely dim. Look at this, this is 0.1%. You will definitely fry your eyeballs if you look straight into this. Holy smoke, this is insanely dim. I really need this feature. This is crazy versatile. If you want to push this light, like place it like pretty close to your face, no problem. And this is a 1200 watt light. Holy smoke, this is insane. So I found out the green and magenta shift have some limit. So it's not like RGBWW, just plus green or plus magenta. This is a little bit limited when you're dial in some extreme Kelvin. So right now we're at 2500 Kelvin. We only can dial in 75 minus green and plus 25 green. So at 3200 Kelvin, you can already dial in plus 100% magenta, but plus green, you can only dial in 50% plus green. So still a little bit limited over here. So at 4000 Kelvin, you can dial in plus 75% green. So at 5600 Kelvin, we can already do the full range of green and magenta shift. Yeah, so at 10,000 Kelvin, you can also do full green and magenta shift. So the only limited uh, Kelvin is at the lower Kelvin. Next party trick, we can do some colors in this bicolor light. So blue, green, red. Yeah, it's definitely not that saturated, but it's like pretty close because I have like a RGB ACL light on top of me. I, I know what is fully saturated color. So this is like 90% saturate. If you are using like RGB WW light, this is like 90% pretty, like 85, 90% saturate color. Like it's pretty close. Right now the software and the firmware, I don't know, but we cannot do any effect with color. So like fireworks, we can only do bicolor fireworks. We can have color, but we can only do bicolor. Same story in the manual effect page. So maybe fireworks in the future, we have some uh, unsaturated, but like colorful light that will be awesome. You can definitely put the 1200D reflector onto the 1200X, but it's just not optimized for the different optical design. So right now it's the 15 degree dish. So you can see a crazy hotspot in the middle and like lots of fall off around that hotspot. Yeah, you can definitely still use it, but just not optimize to get that super spotty beam. So right now, this is the 45 dish for the 1200X. So the beam angle is actually pretty much the same compared to if you put the old 15 beam angle onto the 1200X. I'm still waiting for the compact for now to arrive because that will be like a fire combo with this 1200X. Yep, so this is a pretty cool light and looks like a pretty good investment right now. We still need to do some tests like a full review in the future. So stay tuned.